right, here we go. Gonna go ahead and get right into some of the action here. Try to jump around as much as I can from site to site here. So while we're kind of getting ready here, again, we are in week three action um, between these two schools. Some other things that if you may be interested, please make sure that you go ahead and check out on the Discord channel some of the news. Check out the social media um, tab as well. We've been covered quite a bit in the news so far this week. So we've had three articles run, which is which is pretty darn impressive. Pretty cool. Got a lot of exposure for a lot of teams around the state. Um, also coming up is going to be on November 2nd is an Extra Life Gaming Marathon. It's a, uh, a day where basically you turn your gaming into something positive and try to raise some money for the children's hospitals of Wisconsin. You can find a link to our team page to sign up if you wanna compete with the or to raise money with the WIHSEA, or you can create your own team and just kind of hang out and raise some money for a good cause. So go ahead and check that out. There's more information available on extra-life.org. Meanwhile, here we'll go ahead and look at this double shield composition coming out here for Case. See the Reinhardt's gonna go down real quick there. Case is trying to go ahead and get into the pit here in order to get some ticks onto the objective. Meanwhile, Park is doing a very good job of keeping them out into that choke point there. Baptiste here doing a fantastic job of getting some heals onto the tanks, allowing them to go ahead and keep pushing forward to try to go ahead and get in. We do see that Park was able to go ahead and get the first little bit there on the objective. Ooh, the nice Reinhardt ultimate coming out. That's a lot of stuns coming down there. We see this May is here into the back line, gonna go ahead and get one member down. Meanwhile, we see Winston and a couple of others just sitting here on the objectives. Try to take a look here at the third party's perspective. Ooh, here the Hanzo ultimate coming out from Case there. Speaking of Case, I need to make sure that I move some of these icons here to allow you to see a little bit better. There we go. All right, we'll go ahead and jump back in here. Go ahead and take a look from the case perspective. We do see that Baptiste does have the ultimate available. They were able to go ahead and push Washington Park back out of the objective point here. But Park is coming together right now to try to go ahead and break into the objective. We hear the Moira ultimate coming out, dropping a lot of damage and heals there. We see the Sigma ultimate is ready to go here. So we'll take a live look in. There's the Reinhardt ultimate. Gonna go ahead and be able to drop him. The May ultimate comes out. But thanks to the Hanzo ultimate there, able to go ahead and push members of Park off of the objective there. That was a fantastic counter ultimate there coming out of the Hanzo. And again, we see Case is now able to go ahead and get quite a few ticks down here onto the checkpoint. Washington Park had to reset, wait for all their members to go ahead and respawn. We do see that they have switched to the Sigma Reinhardt combination now with a couple of ultimates ready to go here. So we'll switch on over. We'll see what Park decides to do. It looks like they're going here onto the left hand side. Ooh. You can hear the Sigma ultimate coming down. One member down for Case couple members looking a little low here that's a nice freeze by the may onto the baptiste looks like park might be able to go ahead and turn this into their favor but that is a nice turn for a double kill there pretty impressed there by case there we see the hanzo ultimate coming out as well going to go ahead and get a couple other members meanwhile they got two members onto the point here point is being contested and I believe I believe Park isn't going to have enough time in order to get somebody on to the point and they are not 
And that's going to go ahead and be the first one going over to Kate. So while we're waiting for the next round to start here, make sure that if you do want to check out the website, we have all live standings available. Um, so if you're curious to see how schools are doing, you can go ahead and check out what's happening there. going to go ahead and get right back into it here i do notice that on twitch this isn't live but we i will try to go ahead and figure that out while keeping an eye on the action here Team's doing a good job trying to contest for this here. Go ahead and take another perspective here from the backline support. The revive trying to come out, but I don't think it was in time. And that looks like it's going to go ahead and be Park able to go ahead and capture the checkpoint here so they can start to get some ticks down here. Here, the Winston Ultimate coming out here, going to try to go ahead and push Case back off of the point, allowing more members in order to sit onto the point. Winston is just really stuck by that May wall there, but has plenty of health in order to be able to go ahead and get out. Now able to get into the back line, the May Ultimate able to go ahead and freeze members of Case into the back line. Winston able to go ahead and get rid of all those minefields there. Here are a couple more Ultimates coming out here. Case is trying to go ahead and get in. Winston's trying to do as much damage as possible here. We see that Bob is out. And we got five members of Case on the point. And looks like Park was not able to go ahead and hold off. See that Hammond is out here now as well. Hammond getting up there, up on the top there in order to try to go ahead and push him off. The May is able to go ahead and get a freeze onto Hammond, though. Hammond able to go ahead and try to push off as much as possible, but Case is down a couple members there onto the point. They're not going to be able to go ahead and contest this. I believe Park should be able to go ahead and turn this over and able to go ahead and get some additional ticks for themselves. As you can see, they are capturing a Baptiste with a nice pickup there onto the Hanzo in the back line. That's going to be all six members of Park onto the point there. Case looks like they're going to go ahead and try to wait and organize as a team. Try to pick which side that they want to attack from. It looks like they're going to go ahead and come from straight on here through the opening. The Sigma Ultimate coming out, able to go ahead and get two members. That was a nice Reinhardt shield there and heal by the Baptiste, keeping his tank alive. We see a lot of ultimates now being used on both, both sides. Baptiste with a nice double pick off there. The Moira ultimate coming out in order to help heal up and do that splash damage. And I don't think Case is going to go ahead and be able to go ahead and contest. Thank <laughs> you. 
Strictly speaking, I usually get most of my team back alive, but just counting. I hear I'm having some frame rate issues there, so I apologize. I'm still tinkering out trying to figure out how I can optimi optimize my streaming for Overwatch. It's a little bit more, um, a little bit more intensive on my computer. So I tried some different settings today, and it looks like I'm dropping a little bit more frame rates than necessary. So I'll have to switch that back. So appreciate you calling me out there, Waukegan. Wanna Keegan? All right, looks like this time Case has come out with a little bit of a different composition here. A little bit more aggressive here with the Diva. And it looks like Park is just really doing a great job of pushing them back. Mini Tracer not able to, or sorry, Mini Diva not able to go ahead and get anywhere. But she does have her ultimate up. And this is one of those maps to where the Diva ultimate can be critical in order to go ahead and swing the match in favor of your team. So... We see that Case is going to go ahead and pick back up right where they left off. We see Ash up top here trying to go ahead and deal some damage there before they can even get in. Ash looking to go back up top, but going to go ahead and stay down below here for right now. We hear the Reinhardt ultimate coming down. Meanwhile, Ash answers with Bob right there into the playing field. Ash able to go ahead and try to get into the back here and deal some damage. Well played there by Ash. Able to go ahead and get the Reinhardt that dove in a little bit uh, aggressive there. Meanwhile, Ash is going to go ahead and try to get this Mercy down. Again, Park's got quite a control over this checkpoint here. Ash going back up top, going to go ahead and try to poke a little bit of damage there. But it... Case is going to go ahead and try to answer. They get May into the back line here. Nice chunk of damage down there from the Ash shotgun effect. Ash going to go ahead and get one more down. Pretty aggressive play there, jumping forward in front of the shield there. Just to throw the dynamite into the back there. hear the ultimate coming out here ash just dealing as much damage as possible there a couple members low though for park so this could be the push that case is looking for in order to be able to try to get onto the point and contest it some members though are a little low there from case case really needs to get a few members on to the point here but we do see that the bob ultimate is coming down may freezing may there Roadhog trying to get onto this Ash. Ash frozen, but the heal's coming out there in order to keep the member alive. And I don't think Case is going to be able to go ahead and get enough members onto the point in order to go ahead and secure this. They're trying their best, though. They got one member just floating above, and she's going to go ahead and go down, and that's going to go ahead and be the map going over to Park. That was a well-played match there by Park. Didn't give Case any opportunity to go ahead and get onto the point. Hanzo here with a nice arrow through the wall, able to go ahead and get some damage down there. Really helped pave the way there for their team in order to get onto the checkpoint. Unfortunately, it came up just a little bit short. Looks like we are ready to go here. We got both teams back in action. Some schools like to go ahead and rotate their team around, give themselves a little bit of an advantage, especially if they get to pick the map. They can kind of curtail what they want. Um, so hopefully we have some of the streaming issues worked out here. 
Again, I changed some of the settings around. Hopefully that makes a difference here so we don't have as many dropped frames. Go ahead and watch some of this Doomfist action here. Been really impressed with the quality of Doomfist that I've seen so far coming from our schools here. It's definitely a mechanical champion that requires a lot of playtime on it in order to do it effectively. And I've seen a couple of our Doomfist just wreaking havocs on enemy teams. So we will see how it comes out here. So we do see that case Really only coming out with the uh, the one shield here. Meanwhile, we see that Park is going to go ahead and come out with the Orisa and Reinhardt shield. Meanwhile, Case is just up there on the top trying to go ahead and take the high ground there, Anakin, and drop some damage down into the pit here. We see the Orisa already going into the shield mode, trying to get some burst damage down. Able to go ahead and drop the Doomfist there on K. So that's one DPS member down. And it looks like we're going to see quite a few members now getting on to the point here. Case is trying to get as many on there and keep as many on there. The Reinhardt and Zarya with the Moira there as well. A lot of heals coming in here, but we do see that a couple members going down. The Doomfist makes his presence known for Case. And we're going to go ahead and see Case be able to go ahead and get enough members onto the point. Probably going to be able to hold it and start moving this payload. So we'll take a POV here of Doomfist. Throwing us around the screen there a little bit. Sorry, I got that backwards. Park is on the push. Case is defending. I apologize on that one. So we see the Hanzo Dragon coming out there down through another wall there. Not able to really get anybody, but Doomfist coming into the back line here. Going to go ahead and try and get some damage down. Getting pretty low there on the Doomfist. See, Moira does have her ultimate available here. Reinhardt's shield getting a little low, able to go ahead and get an additional shield. But here we see the Moira Ultimates both coming out from both teams here to kind of counter each other. Going back and forth, the Doom, the Reinhardt able to go ahead and get the other Reinhardt. So it looks like Case is trying to have to back off a little bit here, but they do have the advantage in numbers in order to go ahead and and push Park back even further here. So, looks like Park just needs to go ahead and reset themselves. Go ahead and come back together as a team here. So, take a quick little look in. I totally missed how one of the members fell there. But, again, Park just being patient here. Waiting for the rest of their members to go ahead. The Winston's going to go ahead and jump in. Push the Hanzo back out of that objective spot. Park coming up through the hallway again here in order to try to get some of the high ground here. A lot of members here. Park able to go ahead and get one in their favor. They lose one, though, at the same time. Two members getting really low here for Case. 
And I think Park, with these numbers here, are going to be able to go ahead and turn this into their favor and go ahead and capture the objective here to start pushing the payload here. Got a little bit of time left here, so that was a very good hold onto this point here by Case. Going to go ahead and start pushing the payload here. Try to get some, some distance down here. Go ahead and watch from above here. Farah dealing some damage up top there. Really has the high grounds here. We see the Doomfist. Ooh, nice shot coming up from the Pharah there. We hear the Hanzo ultimate coming down. The Farah ultimate is going to go ahead and be used. Kind of an interesting play there, but it did bear some fruit in order to go ahead and reset some members of case but it, right now case has the uh the advantage here and uh park is still trying to go ahead and push despite being down two members so bit aggressive move coming out of park here but they were able to get a few additional meters out of it and start to get it around that corner so you see right now Park is just resetting here, waiting for the rest of the team to go ahead and come up so that way they can regroup. Reinhardt trying to throw some splash around the corner there in order to, to push Case back just a little bit here. Keep an eye on that, that ultimate there. Reinhardt does have the ultimate now available. Could be looking to go ahead. It's got, yep, got a handful there, but that was a good Reinhardt shield in order to go ahead and block that. We see the Hanzo ultimate coming back out. Moira does have her ultimate again available here. The case Reinhardt was getting extremely low. We see a lot of good heals coming out of this Moira here to keep the DPS up and alive. This Reaper is trying to get into the back line here. I don't know if Moira is going to be able to keep everybody healed up. She is doing her best right now. The Reinhardt and Winston shields will help some of this damage from getting through to the members of Park. Do you see that Case has switched on over to a Hammond there? Hammond coming into the back line there, trying to go ahead and be a bit of a nuisance. It is able to go ahead and do that. Now we see that Park, all members are back together. We're going to go ahead and see them start to push together here. That Hammond just disrupting the back line, which is throwing Park off a little bit here. We see Reinhardt starting to get a little bit low. Nice healing orb coming out from this Moira. Ooh, that is a big ultimate coming out there from the Reaper. Only able to go ahead and get one, but drops many members of Park low. And that is a solid, a solid defense there out of case. Well, it looks like I am still dropping some frames, so I apologize for those of you watching some of the uh, the fragment there, but um, I will try to figure that out again for next week. I might have to change some of my, my bit rates and stuff like that. It's about 10 seconds to go here. We will be back underway. I do also wonder if the fact that I am also recording this, that it is using up some of my uh, my encoding there and causing a frame rate drop. So might have to go ahead and double check that. Looks like Case is going to go ahead and elect to go with the Reinhardt-Zarya combination here too, which is exactly what park used as well in order to try to go ahead and push the objective so we'll see if they're able to go ahead and use it a little bit more effectively we do see a, a soldier 76 and a farah coming out here too so not usually something that we see too much kind of in the current meta of overwatch um at least not that i've been aware of so Unless I'm mistaken, which is completely possible. 
Looks like uh, Case is going to go ahead and try to grab the higher ground here. Meanwhile, Park is on the other high ground there trying to go ahead and hold them down. They're, they're bunkered down there in the corner. We see a couple members are getting dangerously low there, but excellent healing coming out here from Park. 76 doing as much as he can in order to go ahead and deal some damage down here. Case targeting this Reinhardt, being able to get rid of one of those really prominent shields will be vital in order to go ahead and make this push happen. 76 a little low there, able to at least go ahead and get the heals down on himself. Meanwhile, the Orissa is just bunkered down there. Here, the Baptiste Ultimate coming down. I think what's smart here coming out of Park is that they are using the cover to their advantage. The, the Farah has the Ultimate available, uh, but really doesn't have any area to really go ahead and try to throw her Ultimate down. We do see that she's getting some heals, but she's going to go ahead and drop. And that's going to be two members down, maybe three members down here for Case. Yep, there's the third member. So Case really needs to go ahead and fall back. Try to go ahead and recover. The Mercy is trying to survive here and wait for the rest of her team to get up to the spawn. She's not able to do so as we see that Park has switched on over to the Bastion here. So with the dual shield composition, actually only the one shield here with the... No, it's a dual shield. Arissa and Reinhardt here. Bastion should just be able to go ahead and sit behind two healthy shields and just... Do a bunch of splash damage here. So, streams going well. Am dropping some frame rates here and there, but we will go ahead and try to fix that when I can. I might have to test test this a little bit here. So, thanks for joining us today. Again, Park using the cover here to their advantage. The Bastion able to go ahead and just get set up there and nice. Triple kill there, Park, doing another fine job of just sitting here defending. Nice pick off there. Case down four members, going to go ahead and have to reset here. We'll wait to see where Park decides to kind of set up shop with these shields and Bastion here. Go ahead and see how Case is going to go ahead and try to push this objective here. I think the DPS from Park is really countering this one shield. I, I do see that Zarya has her ultimate available here. But in order to kind of move forward, I, I almost feel like you need to go with another shield in order to get there. The Junkrat switch from the 76 would definitely help with the way that Park is doing this like bunker down technique. But I just... Don't know if if there's anything that they're going to be able to do here with 30 seconds to go. Reinhardt dropping pretty low here. One member down for Case in this push here. Baptiste has ultimate available here. No members really super close here from Case. 10 seconds in order to try to get some of this to move here. Couple members down for Park. So this is the opportunity here for Case. They're able to go ahead and get on the objective. All those members need to get onto it so that they can start pushing this. All right, now we got to see if they are able to go ahead and push a little bit farther than Park here. Members onto the payload here. Lucio has ultimate. Junkrat also has ultimate here. Good damage coming out of the Junkrat here. Able to land some of those nice explosives. See the Junkrat trying to come up top here. Might see the Junkrat ultimate coming out here pretty quick. Once he's able to figure out where they're kind of bunkered down here. Ooh, you can hear the ultimate coming down here. Couple into the back line here. Junkrat falling low. Here comes the Ripcord. Where's Junkrat going to try to go into the back line there? Is able to go ahead and get the Ash. So that's a DPS down here. So we do see that Case now has 
a full team wipe so they can go ahead and really start to push the objective here. Not too much farther here. Case should have this one locked up. And that is well played there by Case. Able to go ahead and get that critical Junkrat ultimate down and then really make that final push with the payload. Well played, Case. Well played. Well played by both teams there, and as always, appreciate seeing the GGs coming out in chat. All right, again, it looks like we have another switch coming out here from Case. So we will go ahead and take a quick little intermission here. Looks like we got both teams back in the lobby here. Going to go ahead and get underway again here shortly. Oh, looks like Park decided to go ahead and switch a player here too. So it'll be another couple of minutes here before we go ahead and get another player in. So meanwhile, go ahead and jump on out to the website here. Take a quick peek here at some of the Smash Bros standings. Should be almost all updated. It does look like we're waiting on a few matches to go ahead and get reported here. But right now, we have Bayport and Racine Horlick undefeated. Bayport with a perfect 15-0 map record or win-loss here. Uh, Racine Horlick only has two losses there. So they're coming in right now at the two seed. So we'll wait to see how some of these matches get reported. Arrowhead coming in at 2-1 in Division 1 with an 11-4 match record. 
Take a quick peek down here in Division Two. Jefferson stays undefeated with an 11 and four record. Uh, Fort Atkinson and Merrill tied at two and one and ten and five for the win loss here. So again, we're still missing some matches to be reported there. I know Elkhorn, Union Grove, and Burlington are talking about doing an in-person uh, tournament there in order to settle all three of their matches that they would play together. So um, standings might be a little off until they are able to go ahead and schedule their in-person uh, tournament there. Down here in Division Three, we see that Edgewood remains undefeated with a 15-0 record. Random Lake and Two Rivers also remain undefeated. Um, Random Lake has just a slight advantage over Two Rivers. Again, looks like quite a few matches have yet to be reported uh, for Division Three here. Should hopefully start to see some of those matches coming in. Take a quick peek on over to some of the varsity standings. I don't imagine that we have any uh, turned in just yet. And it sounds like we're about to go ahead and get into the match here. So next break here, I will go ahead and jump back into this. And we can take another quick look. Actually, we got 40 seconds. So we can go ahead and finish up just a little bit here. Uh, Baraboo, perfect record still. Elkhorn at 2-0 and in Division Two. A lot of teams kind of jockeying around here for that uh, third seed there. Meanwhile, in Division Three, Walden third uh, coming in with a perfect 8-0 and map record here. Bigfoot, again, undefeated, but has that one map blemish on their standings. Uh, other than that, we have a very close Division Three here and could still go either way as we're starting to loom into that third week of competition. Tomorrow, if you want to join us on stream, we will have West Salem against Watoma in some JV action tomorrow. And unfortunately, I cannot stream next Wednesday uh, because I will be down at a conference in Chicago presenting on eSports uh, for Dell Technologies. So pretty cool day for... Two days for me going down to Chicago to, to talk to some colleges and high schools about getting their own program started here. So no streams next Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. Um, try optical um, because they're all so, so close together. They've decided that they want to team up and do an in-person one, which I think is super cool. Um, and when schools are close like that, they are sometimes able to go ahead and do that. Much like all of the Racine schools are playing at not your parents' basement right now all together as a team. So, or I shouldn't say as a team, but collectively there are five schools uh, from Racine that all use not your parents' basement in Racine, which is pretty cool. Uh, we do see that case is pushing them back a little bit here, trying to stop them from pushing this objective, really allowing though Park to, to, to push this to the first point here. So Ash able to go ahead and take some of the high ground here, looking to try to go ahead and get that May. They're able to get the, the Reaper there. Doomfist with a double kill coming out. We do see that Ash has her ultimate available here. Winston able to push her back up off that point there. Case is switched over to an Orisa here, able to go ahead and sit behind the shield, try to drop some damage down here. It almost looks like Case is just kind of willing to just let Park push this objective here. We see the Moira ultimate coming out here. The Orisa shield coming out, but I think that's going to be quite a few members of Case going down here. A lot of ultimates used on the side of Park, and they're able to, going to be able to go ahead and push this objective Pretty darn far. Arissa stuck with this Winston and Reaper. She's doing all that she can, getting all the heals as well. Able to stay alive. So great job from the support players on case in order to keep their Arissa alive. And now they're able to go ahead and get some of these, these eliminations going their way and can start pushing Park back. Park now down four members going to go ahead and need to regroup here.
That was a solid defense coming out there from Case, able to go ahead and push Park back to the spawn, make them reset. And here they come. We see that Ash did fall. The Orisa ultimate coming out here, so we're going to see some damage trying to come down. Ooh, but we hear the Reaper ultimate and the May ultimate being used as well. So that's going to push a lot of members back. And now Park is going to be on the offensive here, pushing towards that next checkpoint here. Able to go ahead and secure it. Now looking for the third and final push. Case again, still kind of hunkered down. They switched over to a Sigma this time, so they should be able to have a little bit beefier of a shield with some DPS coming down. Again, great job coming out here from the park support players, keeping all of their tanks healed up. We hear the Ash Ultimate coming out here from Case. Going to go ahead and try to push, push Park back, but... The May for Park does fall, so that gives the advantage on over. And we see quite a few ultimates available over here from Case. We hear the Sigma ultimate coming down. Not able to get anybody with the Sigma ult, but it at the very least it's used as a diversion tactic uh, that pushes members of Park away from each other or away from the objective. So... You know, sometimes even if an ultimate doesn't land, it can be effective in a different way. So, case support players, again, doing a fantastic job with the heals here, keeping their DPS and shields at full health and not allowing Park to go ahead and push. We do see that the Doomfist got a little bit too far ahead there and wasn't able to go ahead and be in range of heals. Um... So Case now going to go ahead and need to, to play a little passive here. We see some ultimates are ready for Park here. And we see the Reinhardt ultimate coming down. We hear the Moira ultimate coming down. This is going to be a huge push from Park. Lots of members dropping left and right for Case. Park with a great three, four person uh, push there. Great use of teamwork on the ultimates. And I think Park is going to go ahead and be able to... Uh, to finish this out here and there it goes over to park that last second there a lot of saved ultimates on park are able to go ahead and work together and push together so great job there from park we'll see what case has in the bag here to see if they can go ahead and do the exact same thing again we got 30 seconds here we can go ahead and um, quick blurb here. So again, talked about extra life. So if you want to, uh, you are more than welcome to join. This is a gaming marathon uh, that'll take place on November 2nd. I'm going to go ahead and start streaming at about 7 a.m. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go ahead and stream for all 24 hours, but I will do my best. Uh, I personally plan on playing some things like Rocket League, League of Legends, maybe even Pokemon Blue. See if I'm able to go ahead and beat that in one day. Um, all proceeds go to the Children's Hospital of Wisconsin. So it's a great, great cause and it's a, it's a great way to make gaming look positive. So if you're interested, please make sure that you check the Discord channel if you want to join our team and help us raise as a group. Uh, the last couple of years, we were able to go ahead and raise... About $2,000, and that was only one school. So if we are able to get 40 schools involved, we could hit 80000 which would be super, super cool if we're able to get all 80 schools that are on my mailing list involved. We could pass $160,000, which would be just amazing. All right, so we'll go ahead and jump right back in here. We see that case is coming around the side here. They do have this dual shield here with the Sigma, Orisa, and then the Bastion in the back. So going with a very aggressive DPS, Orisa getting kind of caught out there, but the supports doing what supports do and are able to go ahead and heal quite a bit. I will be back in two seconds. My dog is borking at somebody.
Sorry about that. All right, so we go ahead and jump back into the action here. We see that Case really stuck in this initial choke point here. They've switched out quite a few members uh, of their lineup, getting rid of the Orisa for the Hammond and uh, switched over to the Farah. So we'll see if this uh, DPS change makes a big enough difference here. They are able to go ahead and push. So we see the Farah up here on the high ground here. Able to go ahead and get some nice damage down there. That's two members down for a park. So this is a huge advantage now coming out here from, from Case. Ooh, this Farah is just popping off here. Able to go ahead and get a lot of members down. Keep an eye on this ultimate here too. We see that Farah is... Chasing, able to go ahead and get the Moira down too. So that's this Farah has made a huge difference here from Case, and now Park is going to go ahead and send their own Farah in as well to try to deal with her. Let's see, we got ourselves a little aerial battle here between the two Farahs. Keep an eye though, the Park. Farah does have ultimate available. We hear a Moira ultimate coming out here. I think this would be a, a pretty good spot here to try to go ahead and drop the Farah ultimate. The park Farah is really, really low here. Oh, there comes the Farah ultimate. Only able to get one and then is falling asleep here. But she's got enough in the tank here in order to try to get back into the... Towards her healer's... This Farah is doing a fantastic job on this back line here. Park just does not have an answer for her right now. So this has been a hugely influential champion change here. Again, this, this looks like a, a critical uh, pick here. Again, now Farah now onto the back line here. I'm going to give a lot of credit here to, to Case because this Farah is just putting the team on the shoulders, flying them up high, and just got Park on the on the ropes here. Park doesn't really have an answer right now for this Farah as she's just continuously just dealing damage behind these shields. The static shields from Sigma and Reinhardt aren't able to do anything against this Farah. And we see Farah does almost have... Ooh, nice McCree ultimate coming in from the back there. So, okay. So maybe Park has found their way to go ahead and answer this. We see the McCree just going after the Sigma, able to go ahead and get another kill going over there. So Park goes and answers with their own critical change here. Park now looking to just hold this defense. Keep an eye though. Oh, Farah goes down with two clicks away from the ultimate. Hammond just... Trying to make some work here. Deal some damage down in close quarters. If I was Case, I, I don't want to be stuck in a narrow corridor with all the members up from, from Park. Hammond getting really low here. Good heals coming out. I don't know if Hammond's going to go ahead and be able to get away. May is able to go ahead and freeze him up. But Sigma able to go ahead and drop that shield at a critical point. Oh, we hear another ultimate coming out here. Farah with the ultimate ready to go up here on top as well. Ooh, that looked like a juicy place to go ahead and try that Farah ultimate, but holds back, waits for the rest of her team to go ahead and come up. So 
It's not a waste of an ultimate there. Farah just trying to hold out here, waiting for her team to show up. We see all the heals coming out here. Could be trying to do a, a coordinated ultimate here. Well, there comes the ultimate, but the perfect sleep comes out again. That's the second time that the Farah for Case has ultimate, dropped the ultimate, and then not able to do much because of the sleep. So, ooh, nice job up there from the air to go ahead and get the May. A lot of heals coming out. Hammond coming in, dropping some stuns here. This is a back and forth battle here between Case and Park. Right on this final point here, we do see that Park has the advantage, or sorry, Case has the advantage. They might be able to go ahead and get to the checkpoint here. The Moira Ultimate coming out, able to go ahead and push enough members of Park back. And I think that Case is going to be able to go ahead and get the payload onto the checkpoint. We hear the Sigma Ultimate coming out. It's going to be close. A lot of critical ultimates being used right here in order to try to stop this payload from being pushed. Oh, what a nice Junkrat ultimate getting the triple there. Oh, that's basically a team wipe here. Case has to be able to get it, and they do. Well played by Case. Able to go ahead and secure that round. All right, here we go. We'll see which team is able to go ahead and win this map here. So we see that Park has taken up on the top here. I like the Bastion pick here. Try to just really get through those shields. Bastion able to go ahead and drop some members pretty low here. But Case is pushing and able to go ahead and get a couple members dropped there from Park. But they're just trying to push as far as possible right now. They are willing to sacrifice everything to try to get this payload as far as they possibly can here. Moira trying to hop on there in order to try to help push. We see the Reinhardt ultimate coming down, and I think that's going to go ahead and be it. So the bar has been set, and we will see if Park is able to go ahead and match it. Well, I should say exceed it, right? All right, got to be 51 meters.
All right, let's go ahead. We'll we'll take an eye through the Doomfist here for Park on this push. So Park's got to be able to go ahead and get to the 51.01 mark here. All right, here we go. Let's see if Park can go ahead and get a little bit farther. We see Doomfist goes down real quick here. Moira doing her best to be able to heal her tanks up there in the front. The Reinhardt's going to go down as well. Couple members down now, so Park needs to really reset here and just... Make a coordinated push. We see the Moira trying to throw some of that splash damage out there. Able to go ahead and get a little bit down there. But here's the Arissa Reinhardt and Bastion combo as well coming out from Case. Arissa coming out here, dropping some of the damage here. The Bastion Ultimate is there. Oh, nice play there by the Bastion, sending the, the Roadhog back to spawn there. Case is doing a, a fantastic job here, holding their ground. See that Farah coming back out of park here, able to try or trying to get some damage into the back line here. It looks like Park is trying to do like a dual flank maneuver here. They have the high ground. The Roadhog comes into the back here, able to go ahead and get a couple members here. We hear the Moira Ultimate coming down here. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. It's gonna be enough to be able to get the members of Park pushing forward as a team. They might, they might have it here. They might have it. I don't think that Case is going to be able to get there in time, and they are not. So that is going to be a win going over to Park. Fantastic round here from both teams. Yeah, this is a great ultimate coming out of the Bastion here. Just shredding everybody down here. So it looks like we are able to at least go ahead and get in. So it means that I will have to do a little bit of video editing tonight uh, in order to make sure that we have um, a little bit more of a put together uh, video for YouTube. So that's another thing too. Uh, if your school is featured on the stream, um, I do make sure that I record all streams and then I upload a video of the match to our YouTube channel as well. So it looks like we are ready to get going here. I will try to go ahead to, and uh, in the panels below on stream here, I will go ahead and add, um, I'll add a link to the YouTube channel as well. So if you wanna rewatch matches or take clips and, and put together highlights, um, you can go ahead and do so there as well. So if you do have any sort of clips or highlights that you wanna show, um, Either send them to me on Discord or just go ahead and um, at WIHS Esports on Twitter and show us your highlights. So, all right, so let's go ahead and hope that my frame rates aren't dropping a ton now. So, or even to uh, below this video, I'll go ahead and put together a list of uh, schools that are streaming their stuff as well. So there can be links to other Twitch channels too. So happy to do that for you. Like being able to showcase other schools. If your school wants to get involved with streaming as well, let me know. 
on our YouTube channel, I do have a quick like streaming 101. Nothing super fancy, uh, but it's at least enough to go ahead and get you started here. Not to mention it's fun. If you want to shoutcast with me sometime too, just let me know. I uh, love to give students the opportunity to, to hop on and, and do some casting. And I wish I could do more with Smash, but unfortunately, uh, I don't have a Switch or Smash, so I, I can't uh, I can't help with that one, unfortunately. All right, so gonna go ahead and take a look at the Doomfist here. Gonna go ahead and try to get around uh, the flank here to get set up into the spot. We see. Park is coming in here. Nice Doomfist just bashing the Lucio off the edge there. Going for a swim. See Park got has quite a few members there in the choke point. Doomfist sending another person down for a swim. Ooh, I thought he was going to be able to try to send Roadhog with the swan dive into the pool. Great job out of this Doomfist, just sending so many people down to the drink there. Looks like Case is going to go ahead and be able to get uh, quite a few ticks down onto this checkpoint here. See Lucio just kind of holding steady there. Waiting to go ahead and try to get some members, but pokes out a little bit too early there. Tries to come in and make sure that Sigma is nice and healed up here. See that there are four members of Park on the point. That's going to be the Reinhardt going down here. Hammond just trying to, to hold on and get away, but is going to go ahead and go down as well. Roadhog trying to push him back here. Got the Doomfist coming back here. Going to get some quite a few heals here coming out of the uh, the Mercy. The Junkrat pick here going to be really good to try to go ahead and keep some of these members really pinned down. Doomfist, nice and low, but able to go ahead and get that healing pack. We do see the Doomfist ultimate is ready to go. The Roadhog coming around the backside finds Doomfist there. Able to go ahead and get them down. That means that Case needs to reset here. Wait for all team members. See quite a few members of Case going with the aerial. Uh, do you see that Farah has ultimate available here as well? Dealing a lot of damage here, trying to go ahead and put some pressure down there. Meanwhile, there are a lot of... Ooh, the Farah ultimate coming into the back, but isn't able to get as many as would like here. Doomfist now available here as well. Park is just dropping members left and right. Switching over to a, a McCree here now, too. So, again, Doomfist trying to play this flank maneuver here. But as you can see, there are a lot of members of Park just waiting. They spot out the Doomfist trying to go ahead and pull the flank maneuver here. Case needs to find some way in order to... Just really get in there. We see the Sigma ultimate coming in, but here comes Hammond in there now too. The Reinhardt ultimate is dropped. Few members of Case are able to go ahead and get in. They have the advantage here. They have two, almost three more members available. Again, we see now that's a huge fight coming into the, the point here. Trying to contest, trying to get more people in there. Park has the advantage now. Hammond able to go ahead and drop some stuns here. Just trying to hold on as long as possible. Waiting for his team to get there. Hammond down to uh, zero health. And that's going to be the the map going over. Or the round, I should say, going over to Park. Uh, it looks like I'm still dropping some frames, but at least it's not 
as many? So maybe next week I'll have to drop even lower and go down to just medium specs. So go ahead and take a peek here coming on the Reaper pick for Case. Trying to go ahead and get in behind the enemy lines here and pull off a nice flank. Going for the McCree. Only able to get one shot here, but enough to go ahead and put Park on a bit of a back foot. They do lose their Reinhardt there, so 76 pick coming out here from Park. Trying to get onto this Reaper that's just kind of pushing them far enough back. Not, not dropping the enemy or dropping their team members here for Park, but dealing enough damage that they have to try to fall back as a team and, and regroup here. So the 76, again, trying to get damage down onto that Reaper, but Reaper's doing a, a good enough job here that not taking enough damage, not dying, and just disrupting enough of the back line of Park here. Again, so we see 76 trying to deal some damage here. Keep an eye on some of the ultimates here. Have a couple available. The Doomfist into the back line here. Again, trying to deal as much damage as possible. Meanwhile, members of Park are on point. They are starting to get some of those ticks down here. We hear the Lucio ultimate coming down. Ooh, 76 kind of out here by himself here. The 76 ultimate coming down here as well. Able to go ahead and get one. Trying to go ahead and secure two. Not able to go ahead and do so, but they're really trying to go ahead and get this Reaper. This Reaper is causing just enough of a backline issue that that Park is is doing a bit of a, a, a chase here. And there he goes. 76 able to go ahead and finally get the Reaper down. 76 is doing a pretty good job here. Not able to get enough damage down on the Doomfist. Running low on health here, too. Do you see that there's a few members of Park down, and that's going to be Doomfist able to go ahead and get that uh, killed secure over there. So we'll switch perspectives here. Take a quick look at seeing how it's coming. Reinhardt misses the charge there. And is now asleep. So the shield coming back out. The Park Reinhardt just in there swinging and slashing up a storm, pushing members of Case back. We see quite a few members now. Park really needs to get more people on the point here in order to try to contest this. I don't think that they have the members there. They're just trying to hold May able to at least prolong this a little bit. The Roadhog here trying to go ahead and help. But Reaper's able to go ahead and secure it, and that's going to go ahead and be the point going over to Case. Hi, bud. Is that your taco? All right. Going to go ahead and get into an OT situation here. All right. Here we go. We see the two shield comp coming out here from Case. With a pretty aggressive composition coming out from Park here. Both teams just rushing. Nice attempt there by the Orissa to try to go ahead and get some pulls into the pool. Both Orissas doing Orissa things and just shielding and laying down some fire. The Roadhog comes around to the side there. Forces Orissa to go ahead and use her shift. Oh, the... Park Orissa goes for a swim. That's going to go ahead and give the advantage now over to Case. We see that they have three members on the point. They are able to go ahead and try to capture this. They're able to get it, starting to get some ticks down here.
looking down in the pool. <laughs> I'm unfortunately way too familiar with what's at the bottom of that pool as I fall down there quite often. Reaper trying to go ahead and keep members of park off the point here. Doing a really good job. Just continuously keep moving. Just just be enough of a pain in the butt in order to, uh, to keep park off of the point. We see that park now able to go ahead and try to get some members onto the point. Trying to go ahead and swing it back over into their favor here. Roadhog able to go ahead and get the hook and drop the Arisa. So that's going to be all six members of Park on the point here. Case is doing a great job of keeping as many members onto the point as they can here while healing as much as possible. We see Bob is out here. See the revive coming out there from the Mercy. Again, cases. Their whole thing is just try to keep as many people onto the point as possible. They have a huge advantage right now, and they're doing a great job of keeping Park off. Ooh, that Orissa was really close to taking a drink again. Do keep an eye on all these ultimates available, though, for Park. They're running low on time, but could be trying to use them all together. And we see some of them coming out. Mercy almost going down here. The revive coming out, keeping all of the members alive here. Oh, the Roadhog falls down at a critical time. And I don't think that Park is going to have enough members to continue to keep contesting this. Meanwhile, all of Case are coming to the point here. They have the team advantage. They just have to get the members off of the point here. Oh, and Park is able to go ahead and get enough and can start moving the ticks in their direction. Case able to now just need to, to regroup here and, and get one big final push. If they can get a team wipe, it's done. Great job on, on Park's side here. Just able to keep enough of them off the point. We see, too, that Case has now switched over to a Junkrat here. Junkrat's going to go ahead and do Junkrat things and get down here on the backhand side. Ooh, Junkrat's able to go ahead and drop the Orisa. So that's a big shield now down. Junkrat not able to go ahead and get enough damage down here, but was able to disrupt enough of the back line of Park that now the rest of the members of Case are able to push together. And we see it's a five on one, five on two. All six members of Case are on the point here. They just need to go ahead and get these last couple of members. Roadhog just hovering over that pit. Roadhog has just so much health. It's it's ridiculous what they're able to do. Um, again, see quite a few members of Case here trying to hold off. There's a Lucio now on the back line here looking to push people into the pit here. Case has all of their members here. We see the Orisa Ultimate is going down here. That's going to be a huge push now. Park is down a couple of members. They're down another one. So that's a three to five advantage here in the favor of Case. Case is just pushing. I think they have it. And they do. Solid win there by Case. Park gave it their all there, trying to get onto the point. But Case had, I think they just had too much. Too much shield um, for, for Park to go ahead and get through. See the play of the game coming out here from from Park's Reinhardt in the last uh, control map. Great job, yeah. I have to I have to give it over to the Arissa as well. Did a fantastic job of, of keeping the shield up and just keeping the damage coming. Some nice pulls as well to pull Park out into a vulnerable spot on the map as well.
And since I, I have a feeling that we missed a map, so I don't know if they're rotating or if the match is done. So we're just going to go ahead and hang out here for a minute, see if members are rotating in and out or, uh, or if we still have one map left to play. I'll go ahead and just ask in chat here too. I'm going to go ahead and guess that that is going to be the end of the match there. So again, appreciate everybody coming out today. Uh, I have some quick video editing to get done. And then we will go ahead and uh, get this video uploaded to YouTube. So again, no stream next week as I'll be in Chicago. Um, and I will work on putting together a list of schools that stream their matches so that way you can watch. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow for West Salem against Watoma. Um, and then I'll see you in two weeks with the next round of varsity. If you want your school featured on stream, please just reach out to me and I will happily do that for you. Otherwise, have a good night. See you tomorrow.